Hey there, y'all. Disney Deep Prints here today with a more varied Barbie unboxing. Today, I've got a couple of sets from the Barbie Chelsea line, uh, one of the Skipper Babysitter's Inc., and then one of the Big City Big Dreams sets, just because these are all things that I picked up on sale, and so I figured I would do a little unboxing and not much of a rebodying or anything because I'm just not really planning on rebodying them, I don't think. So, this is one that I picked up at Target. I got her for $2. So she was a very good deal, even though she's only got the skirt. But she's a very cute doll, and she's a unique skin tone for Chelsea. Here is her UPC for anybody looking. Uh, this is part of the great... Target toy purge pretty much right now going on in the uh, summer of 2022 but this is one of the basic Barbie Chelsea lines uh, so there's nothing holding her in like I'm literally just going to take her out of the package like that so she's very cute she's got a lot of hair she's got these little red pigtail holders under there under her poofs she does not have much articulation. She just has the standard articulation, which is fine. Uh, she's actually not one of the colors that we have of the Barbie Extra Mini right now because she is what I call a black three shade. Here is the grown-up equivalent of the skin tone for her. So, she's not the Nubian shade, or the Black Forest, what I call it now, uh, that we just got with Barbie Looks. So, we don't actually have a shade in the Extra Mini for her to actually rebody, which is unfortunate, but, you know, that's kind of what happens sometimes. But she's still cute, and I could probably use this skirt for some dolls in the meanwhile, if I don't just keep her like this. But I'm going to eventually get around to just... Uh, sawing the knees and the arms, so the knees and the elbows, and then uh, putting some wire in to articulate these bodies, because especially for the boys, I can't really uh, get extra mini articulation for them. But here is another boy that we had. It's not very often that we get uh, non-white boy Chelsea's, or I think Ryan's or what they were originally called when it was Kelly. So I don't know what they're called now, but here is his UPC. Again, I picked him up for $2 at Target. So I actually got two of him because I think he's the same shade as my mermaid boy. So I'm gonna pop the mermaid boy head on here on his duplicate. And he actually has a full outfit which unfortunately is not pants and a shirt, it's just one piece, but it still works. So he's in that same boat where he only has the shoulder and the hip articulation, so I am gonna try articulating these eventually, but I need to do like a whole day where I try to figure it out. So once I get things that are, you know, kind of moving. So, I think I've reviewed one of these before, these two packs that come with the siblings, but they're very cute. I picked this one up for like, I think like less than $3. I think I got this one from Target also, but it might've been Walmart. This one's kind of been hanging around for a while. Uh, but these are a little more secured in their packaging. So you do have to cut them out, but it's only by like, one or two things, I think. So, these come out. So we do have our cute little blonde baby, which surprisingly there's not a ton of little blonde babies that get included, um, which is a little surprising. These babies are really well articulated for being little baby dolls, which is why I buy them. Um, and then, thankfully, she has articulated legs and arms, but again, in the same boat, as the Chelsea dolls, these toddler dolls don't have uh, knee or elbow articulation, which would really improve their vibe. But they're still cute. So we're gonna, 
I'm gonna keep those in my collection because I do like to give my adult dolls uh, some babies. Now this one I picked up in an Amazon order because I needed to add stuff to get to free shipping. Um, and this was, I think, $6 reduced. So it's very cute. It's got some little instructions back here. Here is the UPC for anybody interested. These are all older sets. So if you can find them, you can find them. If you can't, you can't. That's kind of how that runs. This is just kind of a, a little throwaway video for me, essentially, just because I've got to open these. Anyway, so I figured I would make a video about them. She's got a staple in the back of her head for some weird reason. Um, again, she's very cute. She is in a black one shade, so I do have an extra mini that fits her. So I may grab a quick extra mini to rebody her. But we've seen that doll. It's the one with the purple coat and the big sunglasses. So uh, if you've watched any of my videos about that, that's what this one is. And now we're gonna try to get all of this, all of these accessories out. to assemble this eventually to get it to the right spot. It does come with a little puppy, which is always fun. She's not uh, the most inaccurate of dogs, uh, which is nice because a lot of times they get very cartoony, but again, it's not perfect. So, it's kind of one of those things that you look at and you go, uh, is that what a dog looks like? I don't remember. <laughs> kind of thing, but. <laughs> uh, anyway, and then this is held on for some reason that I don't know. I don't know if this was held on to something else and then it just popped off or not. But this is a cute little place up. And then it just lines on this side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Isn't it supposed to go like that? Hmm. There it goes. Okay. So it does just like slide over the top part of this little railing. So that's kind of cute. And then we put our little slide in on this little spot right there. And then we take our very cute little pieces. And I think it's got the big pieces. Yeah, it's got the big pieces down at the bottom. Uh, so, we just put them on like that. They've got very specific little um, holders. And then we just pop our little swing in there. And let's see if this works on babies also. This will also hold babies in there, so that's kind of fun. I mean, it's not perfect fit for babies, but yeah. And we just put our little, we just put our Chelsea dolls in there and they can swing freely and hang out. Or we got the toddler dolls also that'll work, going down like the slides and things. It's pretty cute. Uh, it's one of these things that I picked up because I needed to make it to free shipping. Uh, it's not one that I would have added on my own all the time, but it's still very cute. So we will set that back there 
and put a couple of these on there to really just show you guys in the background. So for a $6 set, it's not bad. It was originally like, I think 15. So I got it at a pretty decent, pretty steep discount, which is generally what happens when I buy these dolls. Uh, this one was originally at 20, our Malibu with Vanity. Here she is right here, Big City, Big Dreams, which is a really fun series if you've watched it. Uh, or movie. I think it was a movie, not a series. I did watch it, but I've been distracted by other things, aka life. So, I think she was originally 20, and I picked her up for 8. So... Again, a steep discount on these because I don't always try to spend a ton of money when it comes to doll collecting, especially with play sets, but sometimes you just kind of gotta. So, that is what our little thing looks like. It's got a working mirror. And then we're going to get our Malibu out. Because she is just a standard doll. And there's no way I would articulate her because there's literally nothing different about her face from the thousands of other Barbies I've gotten over the years. Um, but she's got a very cute dress. Some decent accessories. Again, nothing uh, life-changing. But I did like the cute little um, the vanity set, which is the main reason that I got her, and additionally just so I could have this outfit for some of my other dolls. So, she looks very cute. She's just wearing her outfit that she's in the movie in. Which, you know, is a basic outfit. And she's got a couple of fun accessories that we're going to look at here in just a second. So, this is her makeup box, which does actually open. It's kind of surprising. Now, if it will fit anything, that's the real question. So we've got an eyeshadow brush, or an eyeshadow palette first. That does close. Uh, which does actually fit in there, but you have to angle things. And then we've got her little eyeshadow brush right there, which I don't know if this will fit, but we're going to look. I don't know. I don't think this is going to fit. No, I don't think this is going to fit, unfortunately. Uh, so that's fine. That can just go on our counter. But it is kind of cool that one of the things fits in there. And then we've got a Barbie hairdryer with the diffuser there on the end. And, of course, a little Barbie water bottle because what is Barbie without her emotional support accessories? And then we've got some photographs from the movie, which are just here on cardboard that you can like tack up to the mirror or just set standing because, you know, why wouldn't you want it? Again, just a little New York scene. So, it's a fun little set to have. I don't think there's like a little hanger. Sometimes they include like a hanger for the blow dryer. Ooh. Sorry about that. 
So as you can see, not the most stable of furniture pieces because it's really top heavy. Um, and it doesn't actually have these drawers. They're just a, uh, a whatchamacallum. They're just an aesthetic, no? Yeah, I don't know. But they're very cute. So she's got her little vanity set up right there, which I'm gonna pop back into the corner so it doesn't have nearly as far to fall. But yeah, so I got all of this for less than $20. So I think it's a pretty good deal for less than 20 bucks. Like, will I use this in my Barbie houses? Most likely. Uh, will I use this? Mm, maybe. Uh, will I take the kids and probably articulate them a little better? Most likely. So if you guys have any questions or like the deals that I find, uh, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and if you never see this video, then it's probably kind of how it happens. <laughs> All right, y'all. Be good. Bye.